guys, today I'm going to show you a quick video on how to fix the K668 microphone not working and how to set it up on your computer. You may experience a problem like, I just received my microphone and everything seems great, but I couldn't get it to work. So how do I fix it? Well, this tutorial is pretty simple. Just make sure to check which operating system you use and refer to the relevant solutions we will discuss. Let's get started. Windows part. For Windows, you may encounter two abnormal situations. One is when the PC tells you straightforward that the USB device is not recognized. Or you will find no USB PNP device appearing in the sound settings. The other one is when the USB PNP audio device does, does appear, but no sound comes out. How should I know if the USB PNP audio device appears or not? Just right-click the speaker icon on the lower right corner of your computer's taskbar, then Sound, then Recording Device. You can see all the available input devices listed on the window. If the mic is recognized, the USB PNP audio device will be in the list. You just need to enable it as the default input device and adjust the input slash output volume. Double click on your microphone to open microphone properties. You'll find a couple of boxes right here. Click on levels and adjust the microphone level to 50% through 70%. Then press OK. The same goes for the levels of your speaker. If there's no USB to PNP audio device appearing or a USB device not recognized notification showed on the lower right corner of your screen, Please follow the part one step of this guide. Part one, USB device not recognized or no USB PNP device appears in the sound setting. First, test this mic on another computer and check if the USB PNP audio device notification appears in the sound settings. That's the fastest way to find if the mic malfunctions. Second, Check if the USB PNP audio device or unknown USB device notifications appear in the device manager. Go to the start menu and click on control panel. You'll find a list of categories you can choose. Let's open up device manager and double click sound, video and game controllers. Check if USB PNP audio device or unknown USB device are in the list. Third. If USB PNP audio device or unknown USB device appears, right click it and choose Update Driver Software. Next, browse My Computer for Driver Software. Then, let me pick from a list of device drivers on my computer. Select USB Audio Device, then Next. Wait for a while. Now Windows has successfully updated your driver software. Then go back to Sound, Video, and Game Controllers, right-click USB PNP Audio Device, and choose Uninstall Your Microphone Driver will be removed. Finally, restart your computer and replug the mic to another USB port. If you didn't find the USB PNP Audio Device or Unknown USB Device, restart your computer and replug the mic to another USB port. Instead of using USB Hub, plug the mic to your computer directly. If it still doesn't work, please email us with the result of above tests. Part 2. USB PNP audio device does appear, but no sound comes out. First, go to recording devices to check if the level meter moves when speaking to the mic. If there's nothing changed, restart your computer and replug the mic into another USB port. If the level meter remains the same, please test this mic on another computer. Second, you can see the level meter here. The mic is picking up audio when I'm speaking. Turn to Playback Devices. Make sure the my headphone speaker that you're using is default. Finally, Click on the speaker icon on the lower right corner of the computer and confirm the system is not muted. If you want to listen to yourself via headphones, uh, a live audio monitoring test will help out. 
right click speaker icon on the lower right corner of your computer next sound next recording devices next right click the usb pnp audio device next properties next listen next choose the box listen to this device next click apply now you'll be able to to monitor real-time audio after finishing an audio monitoring test you can disable the listen to this device function barring accidents the the mic should be able to work on your computer after passing such a series of tests but do I need further settings if I want to use the mic with other software just enable the mic USB PNP audio device as input device under software settings different apps vary a bit but the option basically ap appears under soft in similar place preferences audio input we will make a tutorial on how to set up the microphone on different apps later if you found the mic doesn't work with your app feel free to contact us Feedback from some customers states that the mic no longer picks up any audio after the latest Windows 10 update. The USB PNP audio device appears but the level meter doesn't move when speaking to the mic. I am going to show you some steps you can take to try and solve this problem with Windows 10. Let's move on to Start. Click on the Settings tab here go into the privacy inside here you can see an area called microphone click on this and you can see there here's another area called microphone access for this device click on change to confirm the device is on if it's off you need to turn it on but another important thing you need to look at here is below allow apps to access your microphone set it to allow apps to access the microphone as well as the other apps you will need to use this mic below finally restart your computer mac part for mac there are two situations for the mic not working one is no usb pnp audio device appears in the sound settings the other is USB PNP audio device does appear but no sound comes out. The first thing we are going to do is check if the USB PNP audio device appears in the sound settings. Go to the top left of the screen. There's a little apple. Click on that. Go down to system preferences. Click on sound and select input. If you found the USB PNP audio device in the list, just enable it as default input and adjust the, the input level to 50 through 70 percent. The same goes for the output volume of speaker. If there's no USB PNP audio device, please go to part one to find the solutions. Part one, no USB PNP audio device appears in the sound settings. First, Check this mic on another computer and check if the USB PNP audio device appears in the sound settings. That's the fastest way to find out if the mic malfunctions. Second, unplug all other USB devices from the computer and replug the mic to another USB port. Instead of using a USB hub, plug the mic to your computer directly. If it still doesn't work, please email us with the test result. Part 2 USB PNP audio device does appear, but no sound comes out. First, go to input under the sound setting. Make sure the input volume has been turned up. Second, go to input to check if the level meter moves when speaking to the mic. If there's nothing changed, restart your computer and replug the mic to another USB port. If it's the same result, please test the mic on another computer. Third, you can see the level meter here. The mic is picking up my audio when I am speaking. Turn to output. Make sure the headphone or speaker that you're using is default. 
Finally, click on the speaker icon on the top of the screen and confirm the system is not muted. Fourth, but what do I need to do if I need to monitor my audio when recording? The included app on your Mac will do the job, like GarageBand, Logic Pro X, etc. But, we'll, but I will pick up the simplest one, QuickTime Player, which is easier to use and less CPU engagement to take up. 4.1. Open the QuickTime Player. 4.2. Go to File, then New Audio Recording. 4.3. Click the arrow next to the record button, then choose USB PNP audio device. 4.4. To monitor audio while recording, adjust the volume slider. If you want to get more tutorials about audio monitoring on other apps, feel free to contact us and we will make it happen soon. Thanks for watching.